What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Surf fishing for Dito Key this morning. The target, baby pompano. Why am I targeting baby pompano? Because when the baby pompano starts showing up, the big ones will follow. More important, the breeder. So there'll be one or two breeders mixed in with a school of baby pumps. The breeders are coming out of the bays this time of year. They're starting to get into open water. We had a very mild winter here in the Panhandle, so the water temp never really dropped dramatically. It's sitting in like 63, 64, and we're at the first of March. 68, 72 is that like prime water temp for Pompano. So we're right there, guys. So this is definitely a scouting mission. I wanna know if the baby pomps are here in Perdido because this is where I run most of my guys. I'm booking out for March and April already. So if I can pull in some baby pomps today, I know they're here and I know the breeders are either already here or they're getting close. I have been picking up some baby pompano in Pensacola, which is east for me, but I wanna see if they're in my own backyard. Let's get it out there. This is your first time tuning into the channel. My name is Blaine Roberts. I run Perdido Blaine Outfitters here in Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Alabama, and Pensacola, Florida. I'm running surf fishing guides and kayak fishing guides. I also offer surf fishing lessons and overnight kayak excursions with my services. If you're gonna be vacationing in the area, you can find all my information at perditoblaine.com. The link is in the description of this video. All right, something's picking at my little rod. What do we got here? What we got here? That looks crabbish. That looks like a crab. The way it was hitting the end of that rod. You see there, he picked my shrimp clean. I had a piece of fresh dead on there also. And the way that rod tip was moving, that definitely looked crabby. All right, I got one on a little rod. He just kept playing with it. I hope it's a crab, because I'll throw that guy out there for bait. He let go. It was a crab. What you doing there? Oh, oh, another little crab. That was a big hit. I'm going to try to catch this guy, man. Come on, let me catch you. You got to sneak up on him. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. Get him on shore. Come on, come on, get him on shore. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was a little pump. <laughs> little pump up close on the eight foot six. Oh, I'm getting hit down here. All right, hold on. Hold on, we gotta get back to that guy. <laughs> getting hit down here. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got him. That one feels a little heavier. All right, come on. Yeah, that one's got some weight on it. That one's got some weight on it. Come on, that's another pop. Got a little school that came by. Two baby pumps, guys, right there, back to back and so I had, the, I had the first one on my short rod, my little eight foot six. I mean, it's up close about, I would say 20 feet off the beach. And then my far east rod, I had that one out deep. So that school came by and it was very wide. They were hitting up close and out deep. The one up close hit fresh dead shrimp. The one out deep hit green shrimp fish bites. Great sign for the spring run, guys. Both those pompano were right at like nine inches to the fork. Uh, in Florida, you do measure fork length. They need to be 11. The breeders that I target at the beginning of the run, those guys will be monsters. You're talking about 17, 18, 19 plus inches to the fork and just tank slabs. I will not keep every one of those that I catch. I'll keep one. They are great for grilling. <laughs> those big breeders with that big slab, that big filet is perfect to put on the grill. I did a video on that a few weeks back on grilling big breeder pompano. So go back and check that out if you're interested. But I just don't want to pull all the breeders out that I catch. Like I said, I'll keep one and then I will throw them back after that. Obviously after I take some pictures. Sand fleas are also starting to come up and I'm raking up these little bitty guys, just blind raking. Those are perfect little pompano baits. 
Another good sign that spring's here, guys, when these sand fleas start coming up out of that sand so you can actually rake them. I'm not seeing them yet, like on the surface where I can like kind of spot rake them. Just walking around the shoreline there, blind raking, I am pulling them up. Great sign, guys. All right, we might have another one here. Come here. Is he on there? Is he on there? He might be. He might be. Come on. Come on. There's another one. Oh, that's a whitey. All right. That's a nice size whitey. We might keep that guy. Eh. Should I keep him? Do I have food at home? I do have food at home. I'm going to go ahead and throw him back. I'll probably regret this here in about 10 minutes when I catch three more. I might be getting a hit here. I got one, I think I do. I think I do. Come on in, all right. He's got some weight on him. He's got some weight on him. Come on. All right, buddy, fight me, fight me. He pulled a little drag. Come here, come here. Pompano are hard fighting fish, no matter what size they are. Come here, come here. Look at this little guy. Pulling drag, all kind of stuff. Hit that white PB rig. I started tying my, my lighter colors on this time of year. So this is the all white, the float on top, the three white beads on the bottom. Hit that green shrimp fish bites again. All right, I just leapfrogged one. I put my short rod. I changed my short rod position and my long rod position. I had a hunch, and as soon as I put my long rod out, I got hit. But he does not feel like he's on. Here we go, big hit on the little rod. Like I said, guys, I moved these rods. I had a hunch, so I put my, I put my short rod over here. That's a good one. That's a good one. On the eight foot six. Come on up, buddy, there he is. Another little baby pomp. They are here, guys. They are here. That's a good yellow looking one too, man. That is a pretty fish. That is a beautiful looking little baby pump. Look at all the yellow on this guy. Awesome. On the eight foot six, always a fun time. Let's get that guy back. I am satisfied with this trip so far. The Pompano are here in Perdido, y'all. At this point, the big breeders will start getting picked off. You'll start seeing posts on Facebook of like guys holding up 20 inch pompano. That's what you're looking for this time of year. Again, you'll get a nice school of those little guys, 15 to 20 of them. There'll be a breeder in the middle of them. You gotta have the right bait, the right float, the right time, the right location, and you'll get one of those guys. Come on, come on. Did you commit? I got some slack in the line. Did you commit? Yeah, you committed. Yeah, you committed. I see you. <laughs> oh, did he come off? He came off. I felt it. Oh, same rod, man. That little short rod, baby. Come on. Come on. That short rod has been the winner today. Come here. Come here. So I got you. Stay on there. Stay on there. Come on. He popped off again, dude. Another one. Oh yeah, another one on a short rod. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. At the sandbar, again. Lost three fish at that sandbar. All right, guys, getting out of here, that is definitely what I wanted to see this morning. I know that sounds crazy, getting all excited about baby pompano. But what that tells me is that the resident pompano bite is cutting off and now we're getting the schools. Great sign for the spring run, guys. This is a perfect time to book a surf fishing trip. So if you are interested, my website is linked in the description of the video. Till next time, fishing buddies.